Today is the day that is my very last Lily's Loaf market and it feels very surreal saying that um, but I'm going to bring you guys along for the whole day. If you follow me on Instagram you may have seen that I am closing my micro bakery. doesn't mean that I am stopping social media at all. I fully intend to still continue sharing on Instagram and YouTube because I love it so much. Um, but I made the decision, was it last week? I don't know, it feels like such a blur. Last week to close my micro bakery for a number of reasons. I'll put the post up here because I go into more detail there. But basically, I honestly think I've been burnt out for a long time. Probably since last summer, if not before. And throughout all that time, I was working full time in my micro bakery. I was doing my YouTube stuff, I was um, preparing my business plan and sending that off and basically preparing the whole package for my commercial lease um, possibility which was accepted end of August. You guys will know all this, it's probably a bit boring, um, but essentially the whole lease process that took five, the best part of five months was so incredibly stressful on my body and I didn't fully realize this. I mean, I did, I kind of did, but it didn't manifest until literally I had to pull out for several reasons, um, which would have stretched my business way too far. The costs were crazy, um, resp extra responsibilities as a tenant. Um, you can watch that video as well. But basically the stress of the past few months has been so intense on my body and you may have seen like my eczema flared up so badly everywhere. It became infected last week as well, maybe too much information, but it became infected on my neck and my back. Um, and I was just in such a bad way and combined with that and my food allergies, um, skin problems, I just realised, you know what, maybe maybe a career as a baker in the kitchen just isn't possible for me. Um, I had explored, I had honestly like left no stone unturned. I had explored many options, whether that be renting a unit in London and kind of switching up my business model a bit, focusing more on wholesale. Um, whether that be working for a plant-based bakery, but there aren't really, weirdly, there aren't really that many in London. Um, I was offered a job down in Folkestone, but I just, I just felt for a number of reasons that, that it wasn't quite right for me. Um, so I made the decision last week to close my micro bakery. It does feel very surreal because like, I've cried so much. Um, and I'm glad that I'm making this video now because I have been so emotional and I'm sure today will be really emotional too. Um, but it feels very surreal because it feels like I am letting go of a massive thing of my life which has been one of the greatest joys and transformations for me personally. Um, but also it feels like I'm still dipping my toe in it a bit and I'm sure it will be so different in a couple months time when I've moved out, when I've sold all the equipment and everything but I still fully intend to share on Instagram and YouTube just like baking content, lifestyle content, cooking content, that sort of thing. I'm still figuring it all out um, and I'm also thinking too because that will only pay so much. Um, I'm thinking of becoming a full-time content creator for other brands which is very exciting and I already potentially have two clients so that's really cool. So yeah if you guys are based like in and around London or um, somewhere in the UK and you want to work with me as a content creator like batching content, um, doing all the photography, um, coming to shoot some videos of your business for social media, for websites. Um, I'm going to have a whole new business set up soon. But yeah, that's kind of the update guys. I've, I've got quite a bit to do so I'll check in with you later. 
Um, but yeah, I hope it all really well and really hope you can stick around for the future of my business because I love my YouTube community, I love making YouTube videos. Um, it feels like a very safe space here. I love the long format and I am so excited for the future of this channel and to share more of my life, more of travel, moving out in my own little flat in London. I'm thinking East London, I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, that is the plan really. Good morning guys, so it's been a few days now since the market and I'm so sorry it was such a crazy day, such a wonderful day actually, bittersweet, it just went by in a flash and I honestly I kind of completely forgot about filming and I had asked my sister to film but it was just pretty crazy and we actually sold out in 45 minutes which was an amazing send off and it was just really heartwarming and uplifting to see so many loyal customers who were there from the start um, turn up, all my friends, family, their, my friends family, um, my granny came yeah, just so many gorgeous people. My godmother came from the countryside with her big dog, Theodore. Um, so it was honestly, it was, for me, it was just a really, really happy day and such happy send off. So I'm so grateful for that day. And I'm really glad that I did it just as like good closure to wrap this whole thing up. But I wanted to check in today because as you can probably see, the past few days have actually been pretty busy and I am selling all of my equipment. I'm selling, well, I'm trying to sell my packaging um, and I've actually sold, as of today, I think I've sold everything. So I've sold my arm 2020 to a local baker. I've sold my convection oven, my Foster's fridge. Um, I've sold Bannertons already, bread tins. Um, like muffin tins and that's what we actually did at the market too we um, sold some like small items of equipment um, my friend Daisy came over yesterday to see if she wanted anything because she runs her own small food business too called Rhubarbs um, it's lovely lovely food um, and yeah I'm just slowly packing it up so that's kind of what I've been doing the past few days some buyers have come here to collect some will be coming to collect bigger bits of equipment too, um, but then others who live a bit further away, I'm just posting them, the Bannertons and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I've been up to, but I've got like a fair bit of cleaning to do of the oven. And honestly at this stage, so earlier on in the video, I spoke about how emotional I was um, a few weeks ago and obviously how stressful the past few months have been for me as a small business owner. Um, but I've gotten to a stage now since the market, since wrapping things up where I honestly, I feel really liberated and I just, I feel, um, I feel free again because the whole lease process, it really, it would have tied me down so much to a location, obviously legally. Um, and it was just this, the stress of everything for one person, I just, honestly, it was just too much for me. 
and I feel really liberated by my decision. I feel excited for the future of Lily's Loaf with all my content, with my personal branding for other small businesses too, continuing a creative life but in a different path and still continuing with my baking from my new flat which I hope to move into. I don't know where that's going to be yet by the way. I'm hoping somewhere in East London. I just think that would be so cute and just somewhere different from South West London and not too far from my friends, not too far from my family um, but just like a change of scenery so I'll be baking from my flat, I'll be cooking from my flat. I've got a couple project ideas up my sleeve that I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm going to start working on them soon. Um, but I just want to provide the most value to you guys, whether you're a home baker or whether you're a new entrepreneur or small business owner and you need as much help and support as possible, whether that's like a micro bakery business or something else which is kind of similar in the crafty realm um, but yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it um, if you don't know about like all the least stuff um, these videos should be available up here for you to watch or at the end of the video um, just so you have more of an idea of like my whole um, reasoning and decision behind uh, closing down my micro bakery in this form. It will still be in a different form in the future, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I've got a couple collections today of buyers. Um, I've got more on the weekend and next weekend. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please stick around. I would love for you guys to stick around because this is just the start. It's just a pivot of my business and Anything is possible. That's what I want to share. That's my message. Um, follow your dreams. If the dream doesn't work out, you can pivot and another dream will unfold. That's what I've realised. And always, always listen to your heart and your gut feeling. Uh, it will never lead you astray. So yeah, loads of love to you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.